Do you want to join me? Yeah, I guess so. Hey, hey! What's up, everybody? Howdy! Let me make sure we got good light. Oh, yeah, we're fine. All right. We look pretty. So welcome back to the actual Outrun Garage. Last couple of videos we've shot have been other the, places. The other, the mobile Outrun Garage. Mobile. Remember, it's where your heart is that is Outrun. I don't know. Home is where the heart is. So, major thing happened. Yes. <clears throat> We're officially on the next big step of Project E, and the reason is the bronze E30. Yeah, the bronze it is gone. It's gone. It's gone. So I'm gonna stripped it clean. It's gone. It, yeah, I like clean, clean. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna cut to video of it leaving. Yes. We'll play some right. rest in peace music or something. <laughs> Yeah, uh, it's out, and that means we are entirely focused on, well, in between the M3, mine, mm -hmm. but we're entirely focused on the white. Yeah, this 86 E30. So, so yeah, here it is. And we got a few few treats here. I'll let Alex talk since I'll be behind the camera. Sure. Talk about what we got in front of us. So, um, we took apart the engine from the uh, Bronzet E30, the 325i. This is the block that's left over after taking it apart. So, we've got this guy here. Um, if you don't know anything about engines, this is the part that lets the car drive. So. <laughs> part of that part. So yeah, this is the block, this is the, the bottom end, fairly bare. Um, we're gonna use the crank that you actually see. Stuck with the sleeping bag. Oh boy. There. It's heavy. Oh, actually, I think we're seeing some Harbor Freight goodness right now. <laughs> so this is an inline six. Yes, inline six. Um, it's an M20 engine. Um, this was a 2.5 liter. Uh, they're actually going to bore out the cylinder walls. Yep. Um, so if you don't know anything about that, this is the cylinder wall. Mm -hmm. Piston sits into here. Yeah, and then the crank is on the bottom. The crank there. on the bottom. And you'd have your oil pan sitting up top. Or at the bottom. Yep. So these, this hole, whatever you want to call it, <laughs> yeah. that's going to get... It's going to get bored out by, I believe, one millimeter. Enlargened. Yes, from, I believe, it's 84 to 85. That's it. Um, yeah. Is that millimeters? Yes. So an extra so. one millimeter across. Right, and then on, on each of them. And then we're using this different crank, which actually comes from the uh, turbo diesel model of this engine, um, which was a 2.7 liter engine. So if we use this crank, along with boring out the cylinder head, or I'm sorry, the uh, cylinder walls, um, that means we're going to end up at a 2.8i. So. So like. 1200 horsepower? 1200, maybe like 2000, something like that. Yeah. yeah. This is our 2000 horsepower yeah, build. Yeah. First build. <laughs> Probably more like 200 ish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the, the big thing to note there is this is a 325E, yes. but it will not have an E engine. Yeah, it'll be, it's kind of a, a hybrid engine. You, you mix bits that come from the E with the I. Um, we're actually not even using the engine that's in this car. Be a 325IE. Something like that. I before yeah. E, except I, after, after C. Yes. Yeah. Don't forget. Don't, don't actually think about that. It's wrong most of the time. <laughs> okay, so what's our plan for today? Um, we're not doing too much to it today. Um, really, the, the plan for the coming weeks is to get the body prepared for um, paint, which means stripping it clean. So I think today we're going to take the windows out, the front uh, windshield and the rear window. Front and so. rear window out. Yeah, I think sometimes they call it a windshield, but is it a windshield? Uh, In the back? Windshield, window. Yeah, I don't know how the back is yeah. necessary. Well, whatever. Anywho. Anywho. So yeah, we're going to take windows out. Cool. So hang out with us. We're going to take the windows out. Hopefully not 
shatter them everywhere. It'd be fun to, but it'd be gross to clean up. Yeah, so. we are keeping the rear. Yeah, the front has a nice big crack in it. So. Front has a crack. Let's see. Too bad. And really quick, we'll just do a, a once over the car. And then we have some good before and afters. So Alex has already done a pretty good job of pulling stuff off of it. This car's gonna look cool. It's gonna be sweet. It's gonna look cool. All right. I'm gonna set you guys down and we're gonna get to work. You ready? How to take out a rear windshield. And save, and save it, right? Yeah, you can use that later. You glue it back together. <laughs> All right. So we, we don't care. I think one of the big things about this is we don't care about the seal. Um, okay, so we're not trying to keep the seal. We're not seal. trying to save the seal. Cool. If we save us any seal, well, we like seals. You know, the animals, they're cool. We'll save them. But, um, what is this? <laughs> Sorry. What is this? I don't know. Did you have a kid recently? <laughs> I must have. Dad jokes. <laughs> They're just everywhere. Alright. Brian, you know you're welcome to be in this video. Sure. Yeah, we have Brian here. If you want to come peek the camera. Hey. Brian's Hello. from Texas. Yes. Hanging out. Where we are in Seattle. It's cold today. It's great. It's cold. That's why I got my big jacket on. 85 right now. <laughs> Woo! Need to replace um, the rear window or replace the seals is probably what you're more likely doing because they get gross. Um, you pop these little L-shaped guys out and you'll want to get new ones afterwards because I, I don't think it's very easy to no, not, it's not really... Immediately ruined. Yeah, exactly. You pop them out. Sorry. Look at how gross that is. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. I'm gonna pop the other one out. There's another one on that side. Yep. Okay. And what I can remember, you just pretty much pull them out from there. So this will. Pull right out and you can just see it's so gross and cracked and whatnot. <laughs> so this one's it's old and it's just falling right apart. It's seen too much sun. Ooh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> If we can get it to focus. Focus camera. Try. Well, won't be using that shot. Yeah, they're old and gross. I'm gonna put it in the trash. Okay. One way to pull up a seat. <laughs> Yo, are those stock? <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, so we're Brian, gonna. Brian's gonna help inside. us. He's gonna push from the inside. And so let's pick a corner. Sorry. Um, sorry, yeah, let's. So you push you centrally or from the side? From here? Anything? A little bit. There you go, there you go, thank you. One more time? Yep. Nice and easy, it's, it, it's hard at first. There you go, you almost have it. You just gotta break that seal. Yep. Keep focus on this corner, I yeah, think. Because yeah. once you get it over. You're just about there. Go, 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 there you 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 go, there and then um, you can take the seal out. It's easy. And what we're praying is that we don't see any rust. Oh. Cool. 
Looks clean. Yeah. The rest, the only rest I've seen so far has been the trunk. So these are, this is just gross. <laughs> yeah, so there it is. Not so bad. Yeah, let me, um, so when we were taking it off, you've got the wires for the rear, uh, the defroster. Yeah. So that one just pulled out of the window. That kind of, that sucks, not to Yeah. It's... What it should have been is like that. <laughs> right. So well, you can part. see all the corrosion on it. Put it back. Oh, that right here? Is that good? There we go, yeah. yeah. So these two actually are to connect to the window itself, and then this goes in there. But Hopefully that's easy to repair. Replace. I, have, I have another window. I have two rear windows. We'll find the one that's good. Do we ruin the window because of that? I don't think it's ruined because of it. I think you can put it back, but I do have two, I guess is all I'm saying. Oh, okay. We have options. Can we run two two rear windows? At yeah, the same time we'll make for... it faster. <laughs> more, right. more aerodynamically correct. Yep. We're down for us. More weight in the back. More weight in the back. So front window now. Yeah. How do we want to get to it? We might need to move some stuff, or do we want to move the car back? I need to think about this one for a second. I don't know if we need to have anything removed okay. inside. Those probably are fine. What I'm more worried about is I don't think the dash has to go anywhere. Of course it wouldn't. That'd be weird. Yeah. And this wouldn't. Well, this if, thing we, wouldn't if have we have to remove the dash, I know this great channel we, that, that has a dash video. removal video. That would be dumb. We don't have to remove the dash. Okay. That would be really a yeah, terrible design. Then like a, a, yeah, if a right, cut, yeah. Right, right. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. All right. Getting my poor logic on TV. It's all good. I'll cut all that. You know I'm good for it. <laughs> This one's got a wait, 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 connection. wait, 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 Let's spend the whole two videos reshaping that. Alright, that's out. Sounds good. So that lets us get to the, the seal. And my eyeballs. Oh, gross. Yucky. What's up? Push from the inside? Yeah, I think that. We'll do I mean, we, we can't. Can. Oh, yeah, so you should be able to get the arm in there pretty yeah. easily. Yeah. Um, do you need to break this seal first? Because I don't think pushing that. Yeah, you're right. I just pushing the whole car. All right. Um, oh, <laughs> I took the one out of the other car myself. Yeah? Yeah. Any other steps we're missing? Yes, so it's not gonna... We shouldn't have to cut this. Okay. It should just pop out. We cracked. I think that was me. I cracked the windshield again. <laughs> it's already cracked once. Um, where is the. Thanks. So Alex got the other. Oh, man. Gonna crack it more. Got the other window out by himself, so we don't know what's different about this one. It's just in there tight, that's all. You just have to get it around this. It might be better to go on the other side now. Yeah. All right, that should be all of it. about to break over here. Okay. Like break break? Yeah. Oh god. So let me let me work that corner a little bit more. Yeah, that's completely open now. Okay. So that'd be very okay. There you go. Let's keep it together. Go ahead and 
Step outside over there, Brian, and push. Let's get it all as one piece. Are you stuck over here? Nope. Nope. We're out. We've got one piece. Let's take it outside. Is it stuck? Yeah. And you got it? Okay. Yep. Let's go this way. I think I got it. You got it? Yeah. Let's put it with our other one here. We can reuse that. <laughs> Welcome to Alex's garage of windshields. If you need a windshield, we got you. Need a broken one. Need a broken windshield. We've got you. All right. So what? What do we think the issue was there? Uh, heat. heat. I think the um, seal had just like melted onto the glass. So, yeah, you can see it in some spots here. Well, you can actually. This is great. Look at this. Yep. And look at this. So this is. This one came out. Me all on my own. Yep. Took this out. No problem. Probably installed properly. Oh, this yeah. is even better. If I can get. I can't. Uh, Hold on a sec. You're talking about the grossness yeah. down there? I got it, I got it. So yeah, this that was all just like essentially melted to the windshield. Yeah. So it wasn't wasn't happy coming out. I mean, like I said, this usually you can do it on your own, so. Yeah. All right. Cool. Well let's get the seal out. Yeah. Oh this might be when you need it. Nope, there we go. All right, we found a little bit of grossness here. A little rust. A little bit. That's probably why it's the water moisture. Yeah. Oh, and there's some more. So just down in the corners, it looks like. No, no, we're, oh, yeah, just a, a little, little bit. bit. But that, we can just scrape that off and done with that. How to remove the front windshield and rear window from a BMW E30. Except for an M3. Except for an M3. Yeah, the M3 had its windshield put in differently. M3 had windshield put in differently. <laughs> uh, if you are having trouble getting one of them out, run run along the inner seam of that, that rubber seal. It's possible that it's sort of melted to the, the window. Yep. That's what we just ran into, yep. as you saw. Exactly. Cool. Is that all we're doing today? That's it for now. That's it for now. Yeah, we'll see you guys soon, though. Yeah, we will. Do you want to? More cool stuff. Hey. All right. Windows out. Windows out. Um, Guns yeah. out. Guns Sun's out. out, windows out. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You don't need windows. We live in Seattle. Why would we need windows? I don't know. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you right. shortly. Let's roll that outro. All right. See you guys.